Hello everybody and welcome back to the Morphine Folio. We are jumping in again and honestly, we're just keeping it going with the deleted streak, the deleted um, whatever you want to call this. People wanted it, so I'm doing it. I think you guys deserve wh whatever you want at this point, so let's go in. We played as Jerusalem this time around, uh, some th uh, last time around, sorry. So this time we're going to go as... We've got a few locked ones. We haven't done Morris, which again, I need to actually check which ones I have because I don't remember. I, I have a very, very, very small brain um, that has very little capacity for critical information. And I don't know why I'd call this critical information, but I'm going to say that it is. We have Morris and we have Zip Bomber that we still haven't played yet. Um, we also have Tainted Deleted that I haven't played yet either. So Morris, start with V14, um, a six room charge, um, which corrupts one item only. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll take that. That sounds good to me. Um... Yeah, we start with kind of low HP here. Ooh, I love his tear color. The cyan tears are really nice. Also, the thumbnail for this one just looks awesome. Again, big shout out to Nevernamed for um, spending, I was going to say, an enormous amount of time making these. But guess what? All of these deleted thumbnails, and I mean all of them, were made in a single day. He just bashed them all out. He is a maniac, and a very good maniac indeed. So, um, what we got here? Uh, Mum's eye is like, it's kind of decent. I could try and corrupt it or I could take the stuff that's in here. I'm going to take the stuff that's in here just because I like Torn Pocket a lot. Um, it, it, That kind of seems like a bit of a weird decision I realised to take a trinket and a few bits over uh, an item. But I was kind of banking on getting an item out of the golden chest, which obviously didn't end up working out, which is fine. But yeah, I think Torn Pocket is is genuinely very, very, very good. It's, um, it's one of those items that you don't really think about at all until you think about it. By meaning that like, you read it and you go, uh, you just drop some stuff when you get hit. Who the hell? Who the hell cares? But then when you think about it, or when you watch Slay's video in um in most people's uh most people's experience, you realise that um you can get better things than you dropped. Of course, you can also get worse things. Like you can drop a bomb and it turns into a troll bomb. But you can also drop a bomb and it turns into a double bomb, or a key and it turns into a double key, or a coin that turns into a dime. All that sort of good jazz that is um ooh. Um, so I think with these guys, I can just. Oh, wait, no. They only dive when you shoot at them. I didn't know that. I mean, that kind of makes things a little easier. Kind of makes things oh, a little easier, but yeah. So we're going to drop some stuff. For the most part, the value proposition of it's going to be pretty much identical, but there is a chance that we can get more out of it, which I think is valuable. Um, honestly, that's, that's a pretty good trinket there as well, but I don't really care about it. We do have an Excel floor here. That's also a pretty good trinket. I think this is going to be our first item we corrupt. Um... On. That's decent. Why not? Okay, the D14. I don't know how much I'm going to end up using the D14. That one didn't come with a negative effect, which I don't know if that was just a random chance thing or if they just genuinely don't come with negative effects, but I'm sure we'll find out. I think I know where Secret Room is. As for the question of the day today, I'm actually not particularly sure on one. Um. What's, what's the most interesting place that you visited? Because I was talking last episode about obviously going to Greece. And I don't just mean in terms of like what country. I mean like, is there a place like a museum or even just like a friend's house that had some really like cool, I don't know, artifacts or some sort. What, what's, what's like a place that you've been that you found really, really cool? It can be anything really. Um, but I was talking last episode about um, when I went to Greece um we went to a place called Spinalonga, which was a little island that we kept the lepers on, which was very, very interesting. Dude, how many trinkets do you want to give me, game? This is kind of absurd. This is kind of absurd. Uh, we also got a scalpel here. Um, let's have a little look, see what does that do? Consumes one red heart, but permanently makes Isaac shoot more tears in a random direction. The tiers deal 65% of your damage and have all tier flags. That sounds awesome. Right now, we can't use that because it would just be quite a lot of my HP. But, I was about to say, if we can get a pill, that could change that. Yeah, that is, we, we have a lot of trinkets on this floor so far. It kind of makes me feel bad about not taking an item and instead taking a trinket. <laughs> oh, well. 
Oh well. But yeah, this scalpel is going to be something that I feel like I'm going to end up using a lot of my... Um... Oh, hello, head. I'm uh, going to end up using a lot of my red hearts on if I get them. So we'll keep it going with that. But yeah, one thing I kind of forgot to speak about when I was speaking about this... Um, this trip to spin longer is their advertising for it was hilarious in the way that so you could basically you have to get a boat to get there because it's a little island but the, the, it's kind of like a day trip the, you stop off at a bunch of places you stop in the sea and you can have a little swim and stuff but there's a few different packages that you can buy and some of them include food on the boat some of them include um other food and one of them in particular that seemed to be very very popular that, that was shown pretty much everywhere was um Oh god, oh my god. There we go, look, we got a nickel already. Um, was, <laughs> uh, the Spinalonga Barbecue, which <laughs> was advertised quite a lot, which I'm imagining is just when you, um, like, arrive or when you get to landfall wherever else, they, they, they give you a barbecue. Also, I'm gonna use this now. And yeah, that's pretty cool, I like that. Um, yeah, um, and... <laughs> I, uh, I don't think they sort of clocked on to how questionable that sounds. Um, and I, I don't know if any of you have picked up on it already, but a leper island? Do you know the disease that makes your limbs fall off? Barbecue? Um, this sounds a little fishy. <laughs> yeah, a leper barbecue. I... I don't know. Gain five rotten hearts, fills empty heart containers first. I don't think we need that, do we? I mean, it might give us some flies. Ah, I didn't. I had to try it. One second. All right, let's keep it going. But yeah, I, I kept seeing this advertised everywhere. And I'm like, um, got oh, Beth, right. Upon picking up a corrupted item, 40% chance to spawn an identical one. Otherwise, spawn a friendly worm. You have no idea how much I want that. I want that so bad. Give it to me. I want to see if there's a way that I can potentially afford that. I don't think there is, unless I get Pageant Boy. But, ooh, this could be good, but it usually doesn't work, so no, it's not going to be good, actually. Hmm. We don't have any bombs left, so blowing up pots isn't the way to go. Petrified Poop is there, but I don't believe we have any poop left. Damn, I want it so bad. Oh, we do have some poop left. Okay, petrified poop. Do your business. One. Two. We did it. Huzzah. Huzzah, huzzah. Thank you, petrified poop, for making my dreams come true. Even though it's only a 14% chance, that seems pretty low. But, I don't know, that seems pretty good. And the, we get the friendly worm otherwise anyways, which seems good. Um, so yeah, a pumping up today and 40% chance to spawn an identical one, otherwise spawn a friendly worm. Seems, seems good. Okay, so we got you. So at the minute it seems like the scalpel isn't all that crazy, but I'm guessing once we use it three or four times it'll start getting pretty darn good. It seems like a really like good idea for an active to be honest. I can see why it's only um, a tier one item, be um, because it's like... It is a pretty big sacrifice for only potential DPS. That was a very, very useful teleport there. But at the same time, I, I like I said, I always like things that fire more tiers. And it did say it'll adopt our tier effects as well, which I obviously really like. I'm trying to kill the baby Steven before the big one. I tend to find that that's the best way of doing this. Oh, and I got hit. We did get a soul heart drop for it though. And little Steven, which honestly isn't bad, so I'm going to take... Oh, hello. <laughs> it's the back-to-back. -back. Um, yeah, I'll be taking any HP I get because I want to use Scalpel, but a lot of other things that aren't direct DPS upgrades, I'll be corrupting. So if I get, like, a range upgrade, if I get... Even if I get Pageant Boy at this point, I think I'll also uh, corrupt that too. I'll be corrupting quite a lot, I think. Okay, so we're on to the baby fight. It's funny fighting this this boss straight after Steven, because it's just like a... Steven's essentially just a champion version of this boss. Without actually being a champion version, it basically is. Like, it's not, but it is. But yeah, little Steven, I think early on when you have low DPS, is actually really good. Okay. And what do you know? We did get Pageant Boy. 
So I better put my money where my mouth is and corrupt it. Um, I, that's pretty terrible. Oh, that's the worm it spawns? Okay. That's that's not... I, th I thought it was going to be like a charger worm. Not one of those, but hey her. Anyways, down we go. Down we go. Let's keep pushing forward. This is definitely an interesting way to play deleted. I think I like it. I think I like it. I just I want to be able to use my scalpel more. Oh, we did we did get a lighter. I forgot about that. I do wonder because we're gonna get one of those per floor if they'll stack past two. They'll definitely stack up to two because um the golden version does something. But I wonder if they'll stack past two. And like give us like an insane chance to just light everything on fire when we enter a room. Which would actually be pretty darn useful, so I would not mind that. I would not mind that at all. Okay, item room. Quince is just too good not to take as is, and I believe there's no way of getting to that. Yeah, I don't think there's any way of us getting to that. Right, oop, we do have uh, Curse of the Maze going on right now. Oh, hello. You um came out of nowhere, sir. We need to be a little careful of my current HP. It's really not all that great. Ooh, this guy makes a weird noise. I kind of like it. Yeah, we do have to be a little bit concerned about my current HP. It is really not too good. I'm hoping an angel deal will somewhat rectify uh, our issues. These guys always spawn so close to you. It's kind of scary. But yeah, I think Quince is, again, just fantastic early on. It can provide so much extra damage and... Right now, when we have um, base damage, or pretty much base damage, I think that is, um, it's pretty damn good. You would be nice to get a HP upgrade off of to use Scalpel, so if you could kindly do me that kindness, that would be kind. I would be very happy with that. And you didn't even. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Oh, that's okay. But yeah, as I said in the last episode... My Isaac skills are waning a little bit. They do leave a little bit to be desired. I'm not doing super hot right now. But, but, just ignore the fact that I got hit. We're not going to die this time. Regardless of the fact that I just got hit, we're not going to die this time. That has nothing to do with it. I'm I'm a better player today. Now, to be fair, I am I am a lot more awake today. So that might help at least somewhat. Um, that doesn't mean that it's going to be night and day. Uh, but I'm hoping it does help at least a little bit. We do have an Astral Challenge. By the way, something that I need to check. I'm pretty sure the um, the Astral Challenge rooms are bugged or and have been for a while. Because they show up, like, all the time. But I I swore that I changed the, um, the likelihood of them spawning to be a lot more rare. And it just never saves my settings. So it... I might remove the mod until that's fixed for a little bit. Just because of... What the hell? I didn't even see you there. Um, just because I'm not a fan of how common they are, I'll be honest. They they are very, very rewarding and quite common. So if we take a look at, um, I believe it's this. It's called the Heaven's Call. Yeah, room spawn. I, I put this down to 5% and it never saves. 5%. Leave it at 5%. And it always jumps back up to 20. And I think 20 is way, way too high. The thing, they show up like once every run. And I think a planetarium uh, item, e even for killing a boss once every run, is just way too generous. Because most runs you're able to do it. And yeah, it just, it takes away from some of the, um, some of the excitement of, uh, what was the these up? There's our angel deal. It takes away from some of the excitement of getting a planetarium item, like majorly. So I, I would really like to stop that if I can. I don't know if it's a bug or if it's intentional or what, but yeah, it's not how I foresee, I foresaw it. Okay, I'm having a little bit of trouble with these guys. Ooh, a lot of dolphins in here. Oh god, I did not know what the dolphins did in terms of their attacks, so... They are uh, doing a number on me. Health is not looking... So There's another wave still? Give me this strength card, just in case. And then scalpel. Scalpel with the strength card. I don't, this might kill me as I walk out the room thinking about it now. Okay, it didn't. It, that was just a free a free usage there. Um, 
Unfortunately, all these cards are pretty doo-doo. Sadly, pretty doo-doo. What on earth is going on with these guys? Don't take away my title hat. I will cry. Okay, let's try and get something from the shop here. I would very much like to get the blanket here, because it's just a better value proposition for us, so I'm going to try that, but I'm not seeing where the secret room is right now, I'll be honest. Could be... Could be here? It is. Ooh, that is an item I very much like, and honestly, so is that. Please. Oh, you big fat bitch. I really needed that to proc there, because Curse of the Stars is good. Although, actually, Curse of the Stars might not be so good with our current setup, so maybe maybe that was for the best, but that is a little little discouraging right there. Um, I was on the, on the prowl for some more money, which we've been kind of, that's kind of been a theme of this run so far, hasn't it? We've been in need of extra cash. And it makes me feel like I should have taken Pageant Boy, but hey her. Right, I guess I'm just gonna go and buy the regular the the regular Soul Heart and then just get on with my day, which is a little bit saddening. I like the way that Isaac pees as he goes through every door a little bit when he's on low health. Such a good addition. Right, we'll take that. It's not exactly what I wanted to do. But it is needed in this situation. It is needed. But yeah, we've got to remember if we find a strength card, we can use our uh, scalpel for an extra, an extra bit of goodness. I'll pop that. This is a boss that I am not a particular fan of. I think he can make way too much creep in one fight, but we'll, uh, we'll just deal with it as it comes. Once you get him to his second phase, he's pretty much all right. Okay. Good. Uh, back to the angel. We're definitely going to corrupt this. We do indeed have the chance. Um, wait a minute. Okay. Oh, we got a second one. Let me just try something. Okay, sir. Sir, you may be wondering what happened there. This title card is very, very correct. Um, what happened there is the scalpel claimed to remove red hearts only. So I assumed, because it's an infinite use active, that I would be able to use it while I didn't have any red hearts to spawn bombs or spawn fires infinitely and use that as a source of damage i did consider it might take away a soul heart and i had an eternal heart plus a half soul heart as backup i didn't consider however that it might deal two soul hearts of damage which in retrospect was probably more likely than i should have expected but i have to say a little annoying that it didn't claim at all in the card that it could take away soul hearts. Because I assumed it would only take away red hearts. So I died. Um, so we'll be starting again. Um, <laughs> this happened last episode as well. Uh, the skill issues are large right now. One, one moment. One moment. Right. Let's keep her going. Let's keep her going. Ugh. Oh. God damn, having a hard time of it so far. Also, we will be corrupting whatever items we get here because they are all hidden, which is scary, but I think it's um, funny. We could get some really devastating effects, or we could get some really good, really interesting effects. So we'll just see what happens, I guess. Okay, let me get rid of the ticks first. Oh my god, I get hit way too much early game recently, way too much. And just one of you ticks left. I always, I can never like realize which tick is which. If it's the split shot one or the forward shooting one. 
I can see Forever's pretty good early game. I'm happy with that. I'm not happy with the, the, the bees. Let's take you out first. You do your thing. These guys aren't too bad, actually. They, they kind of bumble about <laughs> and don't really do much. So I don't mind those guys too much at all. Try and get a honey coin out of one of those. We do have our item room. This isn't an XL floor. Just in case of the blind. We have quite a lot of poop here, so maybe we can get the petrified poop trinket. Or just get a bunch of money is also good to me. That's... Yeah, this hasn't been bad either way. Check out our second secret. This is a very good second secret room for us. A rare one, but a good one. Didn't give us a bomb, but I think the three soul hearts goes a long way anyways. Right, so we will be using this. Oh, we don't get to see the effects on this either. Okay, well that uh, that certainly shakes things up a little bit. Um, I'm going to take the glass D4 in case that was tragic. So far, not noticing any ill effects. You being charmed is interesting. You are taking quite a beating. Yeah. Okay, so we we pick up a cursed candle whenever walking into a room. That's all I'm seeing so far. Whenever we whenever we walk into a combat room, we hold a cursed candle for a very brief moment. So maybe if we hold fire as we walk into a room, we'll actually... No? There was a noise. I don't exactly know what the noise means, though. I do not like this situation at all. This is way, way too many egg sacs for me. Why can this guy create this many of these? It's just obscene. There's three of them there. Three of them. Stop. Okay, extra few keys there. And I think that's about our lot right now. We do have a golden key there, but I don't think we're getting much out of that. Right. So, let's see if it makes that curse noise again if I walk in holding fire. It did not. So I'm unsure what that meant. And I'm unsure what else this item does. The real scary part of this is, we don't know what the negative part of that item is. There might be an associated negative. There might not, but I, I bet you there is. And I bet you it's one that's uh, that's going to end up completely screwing me at some point in the, uh, the next 20 minutes or so. But I guess we'll find out. Excellent. But yeah, we'll be taking this uh, glass D4 with us. Just in case things get real messy. Which I bet they will. Okay, he is good. I like this. That wasn't super useful though. Yeah, we just hold a candle above our head and don't get to use it, which is slightly saddening. Okay. Just face plant into these things. Deal with everything else later. Stop letting the white spiders destroy us and block our shots. I like them ones, the little mulligans that fire out the, the little yellow spiders. I like that sort of thing. It's nice. You're going to fire your tail off, which I hate very much so. We do get one of these coins though, which I very much like. Going to slow everything down. Filigree Feather is just insane to get this early on. Um, so I would very much be taking that. And here we have X-Ray Vision, which is incredible. We'll 100% be taking that. We got we got the uh, I Can See Forever last floor as well. So we get like the I Can See Forever effect all the time now, which I, yeah, I just really like. 
getting into every single secret room for the rest of the run, as long as we're willing to do a little bit of exploration, is um, is fantastic value. And it could be it could be something that really turns the tides for us. We'll see. We'll see. There's and regular secret room. I do not like the sheer amount of B-based enemies that we're coming across right now. These B rooms are um I really, really don't like this enemy. Just stop with your tail bullshit. All of the ones that fire off their tails can just go die in a fire. They're all such pains in the asses. Stop with your bullshit. They have so much health as well and they bounce so much and so often. Just crap sake, stop. Dude! Fucking... Oh, I hate him. I hate him. I just hate him. Also, this room is kind of trashy. But that gave us a dime, so I don't mind. Really? That was a bit of a waste. Not a huge fan of this room, but... It doesn't seem too bad. There's a second secret room. Two of these in one room? A man can only take so much stress before he kilters over and dies. And this is teetering me on the edge. These spiders too? This... Uh... I came on this game to have a chill out time and relax, and you put me in this bullshit? Stop following me! And I realise some of you are saying, oh, just kill the bees and the tails will disappear. They're meant to kill themselves. They're meant to be dead. Go away. Look how much health I've lost. Ugh! Extra vision has been big stanky doo doo so far for us. We haven't gained anything from it, really. This is, uh,. This is very upsetting to me. Well, that's... Oh, I was going to say that's pretty good. It's not. It just uses the Fool card. The Reverse Fool. I thought that was going to be really, really good then. Um, I'm going to do that and then... That seems pretty trash. If it just uses the Sprinklers right now and in no one... This no other circumstance. I don't think I want that. Bizies. Yeah, that's not very good. Um, okay. Let's go. I'm losing confidence in this run. I'm losing confidence rapidly. I, I might D4 pretty soon. I'm not happy in the direction this, this, uh, run has taken. Dude, that hit me. Do these guys have herming? Stinky cat dookie. Oh god, I'm sl I'm 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 just just more than slightly perturbed right now. I'm 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 having a bad time of it. I think the curse of the blind on the first floor really really sucked. <laughs> It's given us a bunch of effects that we don't know about. We might have some really powerful effects that we're just not able to take advantage of because we don't know how. Or we might just have a bunch of really crap ones that are going to come to haunt us. Dude, stop getting hit, you dildo. This could be a short video, isn't it? I, I have lost my ability to play this game. I, I For that, I apologize because it is, it is truly, truly terrible. I'm imagining, I'm imagining watching this right now is a pain worse than death. I will take that. I will re-roll. And I don't know what happened. I also don't actually know... By the way, this item is insanely fun, but also terrible. I don't know if it actually re-rolled my, um, my corrupted items or not. So... No, it didn't. Great. The basically one reason that I even decided to use this in the first place. And it didn't even do what I wanted it to do. What the fuck just hit me?
I think I'm about to die in this room right here, right now. This is not good. Oh my god, it's so hard to hit things with this setup. Not a fan. Thank you for the half heart, I needed it. What the hell happened there? Unsure. It is unclear what happened under that circumstance there. But yeah, it seems like... Oh my god, how did I get hit there? Balls to you. I realised I could have played him, but... Hey, uh, this is... Yeah, this is the end of me, isn't it? Gave me an item that is just not conducive to success at all. I mean, I love this item. I think it's fantastic. But it is not an item that I would take under the circumstances I am currently under. Not... Not ever. Oh, good. The rain cloud boys. That's surely going to help my chances. I don't even really know how to avoid these things very well. The, the good thing is, like, when it does roll over an enemy, there's just an absolute swarm of tears to deal damage. But actually hitting things is, is not particularly easy. Where's the enemies in this room exactly? There isn't any. Okay. <sighs> That's not very good. What? I'll just take it. I don't know what that means for us. I would like some health and a shop, please. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Stop with the making of the fellas. I do not have time for these gals. No! He spawned one on top of me. That was so close. That was not fair. Why am I crashing and burning so hard recently? Okay, also was not expecting the diagonal jump from these guys. Ugh! The skill issue is hard right now. Let's go again one more time for the, for the, for the lols. I hate this. Why am I? It's so frustrating to be so infinitely fucking terrible at a game that I'm supposed to be good at. The game that I know that I can be good at. And I'm just playing like an asshat. I'm walking into bullshit. I just can't remember what anything does. I can't... I uh, just... Ugh. Ugh. Next run, Turtle holds R until he gets Brimstone in his item room. Unbeknownst to him, cannot get him Brimstone in item room. But I am just going to hold R until I get a good start. Because this is... This is sad. I need a victory just to cleanse my palate. I'm just going to spawn myself in Sacred Heart. I'm sure that'll be a fun video to watch. No, honestly, to be fair, if I put Sacred Heart in the thumbnail, it'll get more views anyways. I think that's something that, that, that is always top-tier bullshit with YouTube. That, like, doing bullshit thumbnails always yields you better, um, better views. But it's, I don't know. I just I don't like the game that you have to play with YouTube. It's dumb. I mean, I do it because that's just how YouTube is, but I, I really don't like it. The fact that you have to, like, put every, like, death certificate and sacred heart and all this bullshit in your thumbnails to make sure people click on it. And and it's just like, ugh. I just wish thumbnails were as influential as they are. I like my thumbnails, don't get me wrong, but, yeah. I, I just hate the game that you have to play to get views on YouTube. Go away, please, thank you. Okay. But, it is what it is. This is the platform I use. It is exactly how it is. Whatever. We will learn to adapt and deal with it. Fuck you! How did that hit me? Completely forgot that enemy fired diagonally, even though I just watched him do so to another, um, another enemy that died. I'm using bombs here specifically because I think that if I don't, I'll die. That's pretty good. We get a free revive. Um, I like that. That's going to be pretty useful, I imagine, very shortly. Um, but 
yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes from here on out. Boss room is kind of good here, especially if we get a HP up. Indeed, we did. And it gives a damage up too. Both of which I can definitely get behind. Slightly better start than before. Slightly better start than before. Yeah. And then Steven. Steven, you're not so bad. Probably end up killing the big one before the, the little one here. Oh, hello. Um, we got like a massive accuracy up or something. Is did I get an accuracy up off of getting hit there? I also lost my devil deal chance, which is fun. Fun for all the family. I was gonna say if that was a health down, then I'd actually cry. Okay, we've gained a bunch of tarot cloths, which is kind of interesting. Apparently every room we go into is now going to give us a permanent tarot cloth. I thought it was a temporary one, but I guess not. I, I don't think tarot cloth stacks, but if it does, we are in for a wild ride. An absolutely wild ride. I'd love it if it stacked. That'd be so hilarious. Use like one, um, one card and just get a ton of stuff. Lost soul. That is good to save. So we'll save that for now. we have got a lot of jumpy fellas here. These ones being the majors. Major League jumpers. Yeah, and these guys aren't too bad at all. So many jumpers. What the hell is the jumpy room? Again, pretty simple. What what curse do we have here? Darkness. I, I'm literally looking at the screen while it's dark. How am I not able to tell that? You goober. Oh, bloody hell. Being hit by so much shit. <laughs> Embarrassing. Tell me it's going to be okay. Right. Boss time. And then Lost Soul. Okay, this is kind of interesting. I'm going to make sure to destroy all these first because they are going to create quite a lot of patches. Could make the room pretty impossible. This guy does only dash once. I think he spawns spiders as well, rather than dips, I'm pretty sure. He's a fairly easy version if you can see the, the dashes come in. There are no spiders so far. There you go, there's spiders. I thought it was. It's only the dash that's really threatening with this guy. Everything else is pretty chill. We did get our devil deal as well. Um, It's kind of good. Right, go and get our lost soul. Hopefully he gives us angel items, but also soul hearts would be agreeable. I'm certainly not going to deny that they'd be useful. Also, tinted rock. I love it when you get your bomb back. I think the only payout I'm not hoping for is the eternal heart, which still wouldn't be bad, but the others are definitely more favourable. You watch it give us an item and it'd be like Breath of Life or something like that. It's going to be a goober to me, isn't it? No, it's not. The game's going to crash. <laughs> oh, thank you, game. Oh, Lord. This has been, in a word, tragic. And th thus is the way of the deleted, honestly. Thus is the way of the deleted. Sometimes... The deleted just does not agree with you in any in any way, shape, or form, and just decides to kind of shit out. And that is seemingly what's going on today. So let's see if we can continue. No, we can't. Okay, so that that calls this episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> A little bit of a bleak ending, but either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.